Now, street food is one of our favorite things to eat in Korea, but we do know that you can have a rather inconsistent experience if you go out for it in the street food stall. You could have it either too spicy or too sweet or too watery or too thick or sometimes too overcooked. So if you're visiting Korea for the first time, you may not want to screw up that experience. Well, we have a suggestion for like a safe gateway drug to dokbokki. <laughs> <laughs> that, didn't sound right. that makes sense. <laughs> Does it? Now, because we live in Korea, we can go around trying all the different street food stands until we find one that we like. But what if you're visiting here? Your safe gateway drug into Korean street food is Jaws Dokboki. The worst part about filming these videos is having all the food waft up into my nostrils and I have to explain it instead of eating it. Essentially we got one of almost everything on the menu. We got tteokbokki, which is a very spicy one here, which I like a lot, and it's very thick broth, the oding or the omuk, which is the fish cakes. And then they have the yubu, which is like these little money bags. It's like tofu wrapped up. That's not very common at a street food stand. And of course we got one of all the different tikkums of the rainbow. <sighs> I'm just gonna start eating, okay? Another reason why we love the dokbokki here, the sauce is always consistent. It's thick without being cakey, it's not thin and soupy, it has a nice amount of spice. Not too much that you're gonna die, but just enough to give you a nice burn. Mm. And the duck is cooked just right enough, not to be too soggy, still give a good little bit of a bite back. Would you describe mm. it as bouncy? I feel like that's yeah. the right way that duck should be, right? Mm -hmm. We got one of all the deep-fried food. I want to give you guys a little tiny breakdown. We got kimari, it's like uh, seaweed rolled noodles. We've got deep-fried shrimp, which is hard to find at some locations. We got pumpkin, we got squid. We've got deep-fried mandu, and we've got my favorite, the delicious, delicious gochu tigum. Take a hot pepper, hollow it out, now stuff it with all the filling that you would put inside of a mandu. Wrap that in batter and deep-fry it. Ooh. I just had a realization. This reminds me of Croatian stuffed peppers. Ooh. Whoa. Now you might notice that Martina and I aren't sitting in the same frame here. That's because Jaws Duck Pukki has really small tables that are really, really tight. So if you're eating with a friend, I suggest this strategy. You sit in the booth, have your friend sit on the outside, and then ask them to get water. Whenever they get water, you can eat more stuff around here. I don't need this much water. This is like my fourth glass. Martini keeps on going, I keep on eating. This is the strategy for surviving, all right? Remember that. Don't let your friends watch this video. I'm gonna go get water and take all the chopsticks with me and take all the everything. <gasps> You're still eating! <laughs> Remember what I taught you. Remember. Okay, so I'd like to retract my statement one more time. I actually do think this might be too spicy for some people. You. I'm dripping with sweat here. My face is all beet red. This is spicy stuff. It's good spicy, but whoa, I'm feeling it right now. One of the people at this table is a gigantic, but it's not me. I'm doing fine, son. You haven't been eating as much as I have, because you've been getting all the water. <laughs> Now these money bags are not really something you're gonna find on the street food stands. You will find the odin, like the omuk will be there, but this won't. Now the outside of it's actually tofu and it's stuffed on the inside with like the same kind of sweet potato-y chapte noodles that you get with chapche. I guess that's obviously what a chapte noodle would be. But it's got little tiny pieces of surprise meat, so it's not actually vegetarian friendly. Everything's probably made with like a fish sauce, so I, I wouldn't. I should show people how to make tteokbokki. I should do Martina's Midnight Cooking with it. You should remember that I said that in this video and then remember that I thought about you when I do the video in the event here. So I hope that we've encouraged some of you who are afraid to try street food to give it a shot here. And then after that, once you get a taste for it, you can find which street food stand is your favorite. Mm, I mean, yeah. we've had good street food, but like Bujon is like right up there with like the best I've ever had. Best I've ever had. And that song. What song is that? Yeah. Some people then. Because that's a ever had. The best I've ever had. Yeah. No? Yeah. <laughs> is that a the song? Best and the best I've ever had. Yeah. Is that a real song? No. Oh. <laughs> Literally not even close to being a real song. You made it sound so convincing. I'm so good at the musics. Mm. Simon can't handle spicy food. 
How dare you? I'm really good at spicy food. You cut like a baby.